Hello everyone, this is Hosan, a 9 pointer at IIT Bombay from the Department of Civil Engineering. Today we are going to start a new chapter called Solid Mechanics. It is a foundational course for every structural engineer. This is a basic course for designing structural elements. So before going into solid mechanics, let us know about different branches of mechanics. We already know that the base for mechanics is physics. So from physics, mechanics is derived, right? So in different branches of mechanics, we are going to deal with continuum mechanics. Continuum. So what is continuum mechanics? So in continuum mechanics, we assume that the body is made up of the particles which are continuous. That is, there is no gap between any two successive particles. So in continuum mechanics, we are going to deal with two types of bodies. One is rigid body. Another deformable body. Right? What is rigid body? So, in a rigid body, if you consider any two particles, the distance between the two particles will remain same before and after application of the load. So, what does it imply? This simply implies that on application of the load, the rigid body doesn't undergo any change in shape or size. For suppose, let us consider a bar. Let us consider a bar. And we apply equal and opposite force on this bar. So if it undergoes its uh, size, change in size, then it will deform like this. Before application of the load, suppose uh, we consider two points A and B, distance between them is D. See now the bar, bar ka length increase over here. So, this means that the distance between the two particles before application of the load P will now increase. How? C. Because it is uh, the change in length is positive. So, these two particles will move away. So, they move to this place. So, the distance will be D dash and D dash will be greater than D. That means there is change in change in distance between two particles, then we, we won't call it as a rigid body. This is the uh, example for change in size, right? So let us take an example for change in shape also. See, suppose I take a block which is fixed. Now I apply a load P. See, now the block will, suppose the block is deformed then it will deform like this right so initially if you consider two particles here then the two particles will go like this right so initially the distance is d now the distance is d dash so again, there is uh, there is change in distance between two particles, right? So then again, we can't call it as a rigid body. So this means that in the rigid body, there is no deformation. What is the meaning of deformation? Deformation means that either change in shape or either change in shape or size. So in a rigid body, there will be no deformation. So rigid body can also be called as non-deformable body, right? Because there will be no deformations in it. But is it practically feasible? Absolutely no. Because at least at microscopic level, there will be some deformations on application of the load. So no body is perfectly rigid. So we already studied about rigid bodies in engineering mechanics. Now let us go to deformable body. In the name itself, the deformable body is a body 
which deforms under the action of the load means it changes either its shape or size under the action of load so in deformable body there are two types one is solid deformable body another is fluid deformable body we study about fluid in fluid mechanics right about solid we study in this chapter that is solid mechanics so solid mechanics has different names it is also known as strength of materials it is also known as mechanics of materials some people also call it as mechanics of solids so what is solid mechanics so see in this a uh, real world every civil engineering structure will be subjected to some load so because of that load there will be two consequences so what i said every civil engineering structure will be subjected to some load because of that load there will be two consequences so one is the internal forces or moments another is the deformations so the study of these internal forces and deformations deformations ka matlab hai ki either change in shape or size study of these two things in details under the action of load is known as solid mechanics so to study these two things we need need to have some tools right so we use majorly three tools to study these things so one of the tool is equilibrium equations another is compatibility conditions and another is stress strain relationship so equilibrium equations see if you see if you observe any civil engineering structure it will be in equilibrium i it will be in rest right it won't move it it may deform but it will won't move means we can apply equilibrium equations right for a two dimensional body what are the equilibrium equations sigma fx is equals to 0 sigma fy is equals to 0 and sigma m is equals to 0 we discuss a uh, compatibility conditions in future lectures uh, let us uh, have little bit about uh, this stress strain relation see uh, because of the load there is two consequences there are two consequences one is internal forces or moments and another is deformations right so can we relate these two things yes we can relate these two things so the the relation between these two things is known as stress strain relationship so a uh, stress is a uh, force per unit area actually strain is a uh, change in length by uh, original length that we will uh, deal in future lectures in detail way so for now uh, for example if i want to give one example a uh, sigma is equals to e into epsilon is one of the stress strain relationship so sigma is stress uh, epsilon is strain here so e is some constant it is actually a material property so we will deal about this uh, things in future lectures so this is a uh, today's lecture with this we end for today in next lecture we are going to uh, discuss about uh, types of loading until then take care bye bye from 9.0